What's up dudes and dudettes? I am super excited because I just realized it's Saturday and that means I'm gonna go pick up some tires, tie them to the trunk of my car, and drive the Mustang down to Freedom Factory and go get some drifting laps down. Hopefully they have a tire changer. That's the only thing I was thinking about that was like, oh no. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna drive until my tires are out and then I'll drive home. Or just hang out and see what everyone else is doing basically, so I am super pumped. and them over there got a lot of cool cars out here super excited to see all these boys run but yeah no i managed to fit a tire here a tire in the trunk all the wheels with tires mounted these two and then those two tires on top of here with a strap through the trunk and all the stuff inside so we'll see how it goes I'm super excited to try it out and I'm super excited to get this all laps down to seat time and test the car out before clutch kickers next weekend. So tomorrow I'll be picking up a trailer or I'll just straight drive the car up to clutch kickers as well because she didn't shake bad now. I got uh, the wheels balanced on it. So I have two bent wheels. Uh, I don't shake too bad, but either way, it's like, she's streetable. She ain't too bad on the street, honestly. Like I drove down here and it was fine. So I might just drive it up to the panhandle. However, when I'm up there, then I won't have another vehicle in case I work on it before clutch kickers. Or if I need a vehicle with AC, just going to like the beach or something, you know? <laughs> started downpouring and I already didn't have any thread. Those are the um, dead tires I had from OKC. I just want to burn them up completely before I put the new ones on. Stop raining. It's probably gonna start raining eventually again, but at least now I have some thread. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna stick with the solo group for now, uh, to be honest. There's a lot of people in it, but at least I won't have a car right next to me in case something were to happen. Um, and then go on to tandem a little bit later, hopefully follow some people 
and see what they're doing. told me about steel braided clutch line and that makes a lot of sense so for the next event I'm definitely gonna upgrade that see if I can do more third second or second or third stuff but now we got this girl here hey girl, looks super <laughs>
so I'm about to head home. Last lap was more of a freestyle thing they pulled out. I'm like, all right, let's do that. Uh, so I went in the middle and did some donuts and started like left foot braking them to see how the car would feel while left foot braking. So I've never done that before. I was like, you know what, I'm out here to practice and learn things. So uh, that's my new thing for today. Tried to left foot brake. And the rest of the event, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Um, car was funky, clutch was funky as hell. Um, talked to Kara and it turns out I definitely need to upgrade my uh, clutch line to a steel braided one because it's been uh, a day. And then my intake uh, tube thing by the filter popped off. So she got a lot of air out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh no, no misfires again, please. I just put in new spark plugs and everything. <laughs> God damn. But I put the back on and she was fine. So thank goodness it was just the intake. <laughs> Mustang loaded up. She scraped a little bit, but not too bad. 